Here's why bicep curls are killing your games. And it's not in the way you think. A gym bro walks into a gym. His girlfriend just dumped him, but fortunately, today is arm day. Just like yesterday and the day before, where he was supposed to hit legs. His eyes grow wide as he sees his favorite pair of 20-pound dumbbells. He looks over at the 40-pound dumbbells, dreaming of one day being able to make a Gym Talk transformation video, where Seabum groupies comment, Comment Jim W. He then proceeds to start his first set of bicep curls, the exact same curls he has been doing for the last three years. After eight sets of curls and ten sets of checking his phone, he finishes his routine by offending a nearby unsuspecting female. As he finishes his mating dance, he doesn't realize he just killed his bicep games. So from what you saw, what was wrong with his routine? From my experience, gains happen outside the box, and I never realized this more than when I trained with Andre Ferguson, three-time Arnold Classic champion and Elfline athlete. He told me one thing that changed how I trained my biceps forever. He told me to quote unquote, squeeze the out of my bicep. Squeeze harder, harder, hold, hold, squeeze this out. Force that out, squeeze it harder. Yeah. Rep wrench here, Tim? Keep going, no, to your biceps here. Doing the same bicep curls with the same weight and the same rep ranges, the same rest times, probably is killing your gains, and there's a much better way. When he told me to quote unquote, the squeeze whole time. the f out of it the whole time, it made the move a hell of a lot harder. In fact, it was extremely painful, and that is the key to bigger biceps. When you walk in the gym, you need to ask yourself, how can I make this workout as challenging as possible? How can I chase the pain? Now, Arnold famously calls this the the shocking principle. Use the shocking principle. Many times we would start out with a heavy weight and do just one rep, then have them pull off plates and a curl, but just enough that they cannot do two reps to really let the bicep know you don't know what's coming. When was the last time you changed up your bicep workout? It's been some time. What's your normal bicep workout? Do some regular curls, maybe whatever else my trainer wants me to do. When was the last time you changed up your bicep workout? It's been a couple weeks. You train arms as often as legs? Yes. Good man. So when was the last time you changed up your bicep workout? I try to change it every week, to be honest with you. Yeah. Sometimes I'll do more dumbbells, sometimes I'll do more cables or easy bars. What do you think about people who never change up their workout? I don't think it's going to help them. If you don't shock your body, then you're not going to get any growth. There you go. The man said it. You mind yeah. if I show you something to make your bicep workout a lot yeah. harder and hopefully more effective? Of course, yeah. Grab this easy bar and I'm going to have you do seven reps three different ways. First one, your hands are going to be inside. Then I want you to bring your hands out here. And then the last one, you're going to keep your palms up. And you're going to drag it. Then after that, I want you to bust out five more. I'm going to help you if you need it on the way up. And I'm going to push the weight down and I want you to try to resist it. So it's going to be a force negative on the way down. Try to go nice and slow on the way down to a count of about three. There you go. Try to keep your palms up a little bit instead of curling your wrist. Yeah, that looks good. Six. Seven, all right, now I want you to switch your grip. Same thing, curl up. There you go, come on, two. Now, drag curls are gonna hit more of the bicep peak, so what I want you to do with this, watch me from the side. Think about your elbows going back and your palms staying up. So you're bringing the weight up, yeah. There you go, you should feel a nice contraction right there on the bicep peak. Try to keep it, just drag it alongside your body. You feel that contraction? I do. Perfect, let's get two more. Now I want you to grab the, the grip right here on the outside. I want you to curl up, don't let me push it down. Don't let me push it down. These are force negatives. There you go, there you go, there you go. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was good shit. Yeah, that's a good burn. <laughs> so how was that compared to what you've been doing? A lot more uh, strenuous. Yeah. But it was good. Yeah, just Definitely try to yell on the burn. Yeah. It'll just create more like healthy micro tears in the muscle and just help you grow faster. Awesome. Well, appreciate it. Thank of you. Of course, man. Appreciate yeah. your time. Another thing you can do is use the balloon method in all your bicep workouts. Pick a move and go heavy on it. Failing in the 8 to 10 rep range for a few sets. Step 2. Pick a move and go for 45 seconds time under tension, squeezing the bicep the whole time. Step 3. Toss in a drop set or a superset or go for some very slow eccentrics for even more muscle damage. 
So the biggest takeaway from today's video is not challenging yourself more and not switching it up probably is killing your gains. And not just with biceps, I'm talking with every single muscle group. So please start changing up your workouts and make sure you subscribe so you never run out of ideas to be superhuman. I like to challenge myself so much. I recently did a thousand reps of abs every single day for a week. So if you've not seen that video, check it out next and stay superhuman. Do you think you can get a six pack? Doing a thousand reps of abs every day for a week? We're about to find out. I've had abs my whole life. And because I've been